Angel Collins. This video is designed to help answer many of the questions that naturally arise when you or a loved one has been diagnosed with a life-threatening illness. Our goal is to help you understand the essentials of palliative care, both as a philosophy of care and how it is provided practically. Since palliative care as a practice is evolving, its application may vary from setting to setting. The term palliative care is often misunderstood, so let's turn to some of our team specialists for a better understanding. The idea of palliative care, and especially the growth of palliative care in this country, came about because hospice existed as a wonderful model of care to help people be comfortable toward the end of their lives with life-threatening illness. And the question comes up, why should you have to be dying to be comfortable? And so palliative care is there to help people who may or may not be at the end of their lives but need that palliation, need the care directed at the effects of the disease rather than the disease itself anybody with a life-threatening illness has some symptoms usually and many times the symptoms aren't well controlled and you know there's a lot of needless suffering that goes on that um, that really is controlled well through a palliative care program. I think palliative care is available to people that are still can be very aggressively seeking treatment who oftentimes are having symptoms almost as bad from the treatment as from the disease itself so we're not only able to help people transition towards hospice philosophy but to help people sometimes fight their way through this treatment and to still maintain a lifestyle that is rewarding. Palliative is to comfort, to remove, relieve symptoms, to give hope without necessarily curing. So it is a healing process without curing. Much healing can go on, especially when you can provide hope, when you can provide comfort. As we have heard, palliative care affirms life in partnership with the patient. Here at the VNA, the heart of our program is the teamwork of our professionals. They focus on the physical, psychological, social, and spiritual needs of patients and their families. In simple terms, as a team, we see the whole person, including the family and their support environment. We help them navigate an often confusing healthcare system, and we collaborate with the patient to facilitate healing and joyful moments. The people you are about to meet will share with you the challenges and gifts that encompass a life-threatening illness. A palliative care patient can receive uh, services in many um, settings. They uh, most often receive care in the hospital. They can receive care at home. They can receive care at nursing homes. Um, but what's important is being able to have that um, team-directed, patient-directed um, care. One of the most wonderful things about hospice and palliative care, as I see it, is that they aren't telling a patient what they need to do to cope with their illness. They're letting the patient determine this and determine what route they go and how much care they want, how much interference in their life they want, but that support is there whenever they need it. My wife was diagnosed with head and neck cancer about five years before her death. prompted four surgeries to 
try to remove the cancer and then to do some corrective surgery. We still kept um, trying to preserve that life as long as we could and, and maintain a quality of life. One of my biggest fears was whether we were going to be able to handle taking care of her at home. Um, it was a huge, it was going to be a huge undertaking and it was important that our family was able to work as a team and have the support that we needed. It's not uncommon for families to feel very afraid bringing their loved one home from the hospital. Um, it's often very overwhelming. You're having to learn a lot of new um, skills, things that you wouldn't normally have to do in everyday life. Nancy had to be one of the most caring people that I've ever met and she made us all feel at ease about the transition from hospital to home and we felt comfortable knowing that at any point that we were in a situation that wasn't comfortable she was going to be there and that eased all of those fears that we had about taking her home. I recall when um, the social worker came over and sat down with Nancy and I and talked about Liv and Will. As I got to know David and Nancy better, I helped them to develop their advanced directives to speak about what were Nancy's wishes and how could David honor her wishes if Nancy wasn't able to speak for herself. Um, helping my mom make a living will was very important to all of us because we wanted to know before she got to the point where she couldn't tell us what her wishes were. It made all the decisions so much easier having those discussions rather than putting a lot of burden on on uh, the family to say, did we make the right decision? Because we knew in our hearts and in our minds that those decisions were the will of Nancy, my wife. We see the person. We see where they live, who they love, what they love doing. Their entire history is on the walls, sometimes under our feet, and they become a whole person again. Whole person care requires looking not only at the, the patient as an individual and the symptoms that need being managed, but also the family unit, their spiritual and their emotional needs as well. Uh, we had Nancy as a, a nurse and she was an incredible person. She would come in, sit on the bed with us and talk about all kinds of issues and how we felt and uh, really in touch with the patient and the family and melting that all together to make a wonderful treatment plan that was customized for our lifestyle, our family and uh, what the patient, my wife Nancy, really wanted. The palliative care team comes and provides a lot of energy that the family doesn't have. Uh, energy to provide good symptom control, pain control, energy to help people do the things they need to do and want to do in their lives, things that give their life meaning. The palliative care team provides a support structure that accompanies the patient and family through the illness up until and after, even beyond the time of the death that is there to provide concrete help when it's needed and also to, for, so that the patient and family feel that there's somebody with them on this journey. At one visit, I was able to recognize that David was very stressed and overwhelmed and I suggested that he take a, a walk on his property and provide himself with some time away while Nancy was in capable hands. Nancy and I had purchased a piece of land just up the road from us, a beautiful place we were going to build our dream home. My only time for myself was to go up to the land and I'd go up there by myself and spend an hour or two, but 
our nurse would say, why don't you go up to the land, David? Because she knew that was what I needed. And I'd go build a fire and sit around and contemplate what I was going through and remove myself out of that situation so I could recharge my batteries to go back and be the positive, strong, helpful, caring person that I know she needed. I was able to spend time with the whole family, supporting each member of the family, and doing that differently for each one. Melissa tended to be more like a friend that had a really good, that was a really good listener. Um, I didn't feel like I was talking with a psychologist or a social worker. Um, she was there to listen and give advice, and I talked to her more than just about necessarily things related to my mother. She, it's, it was the whole aspect of how my life was changing because of it. I enjoy helping people navigate the healthcare system. And with families, I find it deeply satisfying because I can help to make the phone calls, to help them get the resources that they need, to help interface with the insurance company to make sure that their benefits are maximized as well as to reach out to other resources that might help a family so that the family can focus on spending time together. I always felt like I could call day or night, middle of the night, whatever, and somebody would be there to assist me and my family to do the right thing. It took a lot of the burden off us. <music> Our team spontaneously values the wholeness of a patient's life. I think the wheels are automatically spinning for each team member of trying to figure out creative ways to honor the wholeness of this patient's life. So it may be that the chaplain brings up something important about the spirituality or the deep meaning of a patient, and it may be the nurse's aide who talks about the importance of maintaining this patient's privacy with personal care, that these different ideas all come together spontaneously to make sure that we're meeting the needs of a unique patient with a unique family system. Every person is unique, every family is unique in the dynamics that they have and everybody responds to their disease in a different way. And the, abil the ability to listen and understand to what that family and that patient's goals are allows us to individualize a plan of care that's right for them. I think that the team as a whole helps people to maintain a normal life um, we were able to go on vacation because of their assistance. We had all the equipment that we needed. There was no question as to being cared for in any aspect. Without palliative care, I don't know as I could have done this at home. I consider myself and my family very strong and very stable and very supportive and loving of each other. But in death, there is so much unknown the whole dying process is such a foreign topic to most people. It's taboo to talk about a lot of times. And, and only someone that had been through that could relate the different experiences and help guide you through that. The biggest thing I wanted upon my wife's death was to die in dignity. And she, she truly did that. And the palliative care team was very much supportive and enhanced that whole dignity aspect of dying. I hope this video has shed some light on the philosophy and practice of palliative care. We encourage you to seek out your community resources should you or a loved one be faced with a life-threatening illness.